Welcome back to Offered Outlaws, guys, and as I am sure you are aware, this past weekend, the new update to Offered Outlaws came out, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to play it until today. It's Monday as I record this. However, I am more than excited to get into our very first build of this second-gen Dodge Ram in Offered Outlaws, and our very first build is going to be a mega truck, and then we're going to do another build later on down the road that's going to be a dually tow rig, but we're going to go through a bunch of the customization features and show you guys around the entire truck and also do know that the AMG 6x6 as well as the new Bronco are both builds that are going to be coming very very soon so let's go ahead and pick this thing up and dive into the build now I'm really really excited to get into all of the different aspects of customization that are on offer here but even just as a base model truck it looks really good and it actually I feel like it would look really nice pulling that gooseneck in stock configuration but you know we can't just leave it that way so first things first we're gonna go ahead and get straight down to the upgrades and we are going to max this thing out. And when I say max it out, we're going to just max it out all the way. All the freaking way until it is good to go. Full weight reduction. Definitely doing the diesel swap because it needs it. And durability wise, we're going to make sure that that's all taken care of. Throw the e-brake on it and full turbo stage four. So now we have basically a fully built stage four truck. Nothing to worry about there. And then now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of suspension stuff but not until we make the front and rear wheels fully upgraded to stage 5. So that's all taken care of. We're going to go ahead and do a full stage 5 gearing package. And then once we, once we go ahead and build everything, we'll come back and play around with the gearing a little bit later. Now, dyno-wise, we're going to go ahead and throw a perfect setup on it. And it should be fairly normal numbers, but we're going to go ahead and run the dyno anyway. 705 horsepower and 1186 foot-pounds of torque so fairly average uh in my opinion in terms of what you would see especially from like a diesel swapped truck but now we can go into the well we'll do gear tuning later now we can go into the actual suspension setup so monster suspension is what we're going to be going with but you have your standard solid axle heavy duty is of course available you can do i-beam type you can do independent type you could do Solid Axle Pro, which I'll definitely be doing a Solid Axle Pro version of this of this truck in the future. I'll probably buy another one uh, for that particular purpose. You've also got Trophy Type and then Monster Suspension, which we're going to go ahead and throw on the truck. Now, the Monster Suspension obviously is going to be the one that I feel like a lot of people are going to go for first, especially if you're building mega trucks, monster trucks, uh, mud trucks, mud racing trucks, whatever the case may be, that's going to be a very popular choice for this thing. But I also feel like just the standard solid axle choice is going to be really popular as well for people that like to build tow rigs. So let's go ahead and handle, I think first off the bat, we're going to set our travel, we might as well just set the travel at max to be honest, because the travel, I mean, we'll just bring everything up to sort of the level uh, of the travel. Interesting shock mounting location in the rear, by the way. Very interesting choice there. I don't know if that's what I would have done, but all right, have at it, I guess. I'm going to run like, we'll say like 13.8 in the front, and in the rear, I'm going to run about, probably about 11, yeah, 11.7, 11, 11.5. 11, 11.5 ish and then we can modify it from there axis width we're gonna go ahead and put that just as a base we'll put that at a probably not a 0 0.5 we'll do a 0 0.4 because 0.4 will allow for obviously much bigger tires and obviously it looks very goofy right now but it gives us a lot of room to do a lot of work on the tires so damping we're gonna bump that up to like 3k ish as kind of a starting point if you guys haven't already guessed we're doing a uh we're doing a, a a mega truck racing build first off because we run those a lot on our streams and i feel like that applies to what a lot of you guys like to do and then of course we'll come back later on and do a tow rig build so stiffness wise we've already done that and then rear steering i'm not going to do rear steering on this particular one because if i was doing like a monster jam build it would absolutely have rear steer but for a mud racing build not really going to worry about the rear steer so tire wise we're going to go with a let's see wheel radius i'm probably going to go i'm probably going to start off with like one five one five maybe one six one six will be about right 
and about a 1.8 in terms of width. So 1.6 and 1.8. And actually, now that I now that I see that on the truck, I can actually bring the width in a little bit because it's a little too wide at the moment for my taste. Let's bring that in to about a 0.3. Not too much, but just enough to where it looks a little bit more proportional. So that'll work. That, that, that'll actually work really, really well. And I'm sure you could go faster with a smaller tire, but kind of want a little bit of a mix of like a really good looking mega truck as well as something that has some decent speed to it. So bumper wise, we have a few different options. Uh, some of them are actually kind of floating, so I'm not really going to mess with those. We have the small fender extensions and then of course the really large fender extensions. You also have fender cuts and then you also have the dually fenders in the rear. On this truck, for the purposes that we're using it for, I'm going to do fender cuts. And then as far as the rear bumper goes, eh, this one I'll probably, this one I'll probably actually take off. I feel like that one actually looks a little bit better with it taken off. And of course, if you want a flatbed, the option for that is there for you, but I'm going to leave the bed on this particular truck. And then cage-wise, you have a ton of options. Um, half cage, full cage, roll cage in the bed. I'm going to do a roof rack on the top. And then I'm not really going to worry about the running boards or side steps, but I am going to do a light bar up on the roof. And as far as spare wheels go, not really going to worry about it too much, but I am going to put a snorkel on it so we don't really run into as many water damage issues. And then spare tire, not really going to worry about that too much. And then definitely going to throw a winch on the front of it just so we have that there like available to us. And this is one that I'm actually kind of curious as to what might look better. That hood stack is big. They really made the hood stacks on this thing really big. I think I might do a stack in the bed, though, because I feel like I feel like there's just something that works about a second gen with a stack in the bed. I don't know. It just seems to work to, to me, like in my mind. White HIDs for sure, and then definitely throwing a repair pack. Whoa. Oh, so actually, no, you know what? Forgot about the toolbox. We're going to do a toolbox and a single hood stack. That looks sick. Yeah, a toolbox in the back and a single hood stack. And what I love about the toolbox is the fact that it's actually fully functional. That's that's awesome. That's amazing. So we'll do flags and stuff like that later. And I think for right now, let's see. Gloss red, metallic red. Eh, kind of going back and forth on the... I like the bright metallic red. The bright metallic red looks sick. Actually, really like that. I don't want to spend too much time in the color options, though. Not a ton of time, anyway. And then we will throw a... Oh, these look, these look sick on this thing. Even with, dude, with a beadlock, they look even better. They look even better. Because they've got that deep dish look, but they've also got that really rugged off-road look. And we'll do a metallic, not a chrome necessarily, but we'll do a, probably like a metallic gray. Um, metallic gray looks really good on red trucks, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure some of you guys may have different opinions about that. But for me, like, or to me, I think, the, the... The metallic gray has always looked really good in my eyes. And then we'll do a really nice metallic red on the bead. Because again, I like to have a dark color on like the wheel face itself and then have the bead lock match the uh, truck color. So from there on out, I mean, we could do we could do like a TC decal and stuff like that later. We'll probably do that on a stream, but I really want to get this thing out and drive it. I really, really want to get this thing out and drive it. Now, you have these, which are a little bit more of a street tire, but you also have these, which these, hmm, so these are really good in the sand. Oh, those are not quite as good in the mud, but you know what? My God, they look so good, and they're brand new. I got to try them. I got to try them, and if you wanted to do dualies, oh my God, you could. You totally could, but I don't necessarily have the setup for that on this thing right now, so... God, they looked crazy on the ATVs. They look even crazier here. Oh my God, that looks so good. That looks so, so, so good. All right, without even messing with the gearing. Well, I say without even messing with the gearing. I'm going to do a quick setup. We'll do three, two, and one, eh, no, three, two, 2.2, 2, and then one, eight, and then let's see, one four and one zero. Oh. This is gonna be an all like an all launch truck. This is not gonna have 
basically anything to by the way this is really freaking cool the actual like menu update that they've done i love that so let's see tc's quick race go ahead and get her launched now one of the biggest things like i said before is this is going to be an all acceleration truck so if this truck doesn't like if this truck doesn't un outrun its opponents off the line it's pretty much out of luck and that can be like that could be good and bad oh the rolling coal animation looks so good oh that's so sick look at that look at that that looks amazing that looks amazing all right so let's go ahead and have the speedometer up for the first run i want to see what kind of speeds it can manage especially with these new tires in the mud so three two one go I like the suspension setup. Oh, uh, not bad. It's doing like 30. That's impressive. I mean, to do about 30 in the mud is pretty dang good. And the controllability as far as like in the air, not bad either. Going up that hill, it struggled a little bit. It struggled to stay above 20, but you know, I mean, obviously it's not going to be any, any kind of cyber truck in terms of pace, but I mean does really really well though like i mean i think it does really well i think it's definitely a truck that a lot of people can get a lot of use out of and i think it's going to be a truck that will kind of fall into a bunch of different roles for a bunch of different reasons but let's go ahead and head back and try that one more time and see how we can do with all of the gauges uh just kind of you know disabled turned off and see how it does from the standpoint of just like how fun is it to drive also, let's see if we can get a... Uh, yeet! <laughs> oh, no. It did not want to backflip quick enough. It just didn't. It was just like, nah, I'm not feeling it, bud. I am not into that. All right. So now let's see how it is from an actual, like, driving perspective and not really worry about the speed. Three, two, one, go! I gotta mess with the gear ratios a little bit. It's a little... It's a little iffy off the line. It kind of gear hunts a lot. And especially now that I can see it from this view, I can tell you that it's it's quick, not fast. Ooh, that was bad. I could have managed that a lot better. God, that rolling coal animation looks so good. All right, we'll get through this last mud bog. It's not bad in the mud. That's the biggest thing. It's like it's really it's a really even pace. It's like a pace that you can always expect it to do no matter what. I love these tires. I absolutely freaking love these tires, but yeah, I definitely recommend building yourself one of these for the mud if you haven't already. I'm sure a lot of you guys have turned them into tow rigs, but with that being said and done, I will be definitely doing a tow rig build very, very soon. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, or let me know uh, your thoughts on the tune if you have any suggestions with that. But also, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time.